All right, look at this beautiful creature. Holy cow, it's so neat for as bland as it is outside, as fascinating as it is inside. Now, he wanted to curl up quite a bit on each other, so I had to kind of cut him open, and it wasn't a beautiful cut, but nonetheless, it works. So what am I looking at here? Uh, and what did I have to cut through? Okay, so the, it's all over soft, doesn't have that endoskeleton like the starfish or the sea urchin does. It's a soft animal. And honestly, you really do have to watch videos of this thing alive because uh, the preserved specimen does it no justice. But we can see the internal structures, which you can't see humanely on a live specimen. So first off, I had to cut these muscles that go up and down the body that cause the animal to contract. And this is the longitudinal muscles. We can also see circular muscles going in this direction here, but I cut those longitudinal muscles. And remember when we were looking just externally, we really couldn't tell heads from tails. We couldn't see the oral and the ab oral. We didn't know where the mouth was because everything was contracted and sucked in. He probably wasn't really happy in his last moments of his life because he pulled in the tentacles. So I had to cut open and you're like this kind of neat structure here. I cut open and inside there are the tentacles and the tentacles are really quite large and they would come out he would when when he's happy right not right, right close to death when he's happy all these tentacles are going to come out and they're going to slurp up either the sludge that it's living in or perhaps it's filter feeding just slightly but these are the uh, tentacles and they're on the oral side so the opening here through the tentacles is going to be the mouth okay let's zoom in just a little bit here Okay, so just so we have, so this opening in the tentacles is the mouth. And so the first area or region, okay, this is a cut longitudinal muscle. After that, right after the mouth is going to be the stomach. Let me move some of this intestines around. Okay, so the stomach is literally right here. So we see the tentacles here. And then the tentacles are kind of being stored right there. And then the stomach. Right after the stomach is this tube. Look how nice that is. Obviously very intestine looking, right? And that is indeed the intestine. And it's going to wiggle around and around. And eventually, right, it's going to end up in the opening. Oops. Make sure I'm on camera here. The opening, and I just kind of cut until I could find, well, is there an opening? And there is. There's an opening on the ab oral side of the animal, the side that doesn't have tentacles. And of course that's going to be the anus. And so I accidentally kind of cut into the intestine here, but that's going to be the out. So food's going to come in one end and out the other one way digestive system. Nice. This is not new for this animal. We just have it here. Okay. So other things I'm in here, you're like, wow, I got all this, well, spaghetti stuff, right? And what we have going on here is that we have both respiratory tree and gonads in this yellow uh, stuff. The best way to tell, because it looks like basically like, you know, chow mein, right? It's got all these little very fine noodles. So what I do to be able to tell respiratory tree, and I didn't come up with this, this was somebody else's, is that you take some of it and if you float it in water, And I'll zoom in and focus. Oh, it doesn't, it's like, no, I want to focus on the surface of the water. No, no, no. You can do it. It's like, no, I can't. Oh, holy cow, that's terrible. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wants to focus on the surface of the water. I can't get it to go further. Okay, so see how that is very branched? maybe like a lung would look like on the inside. That's respiratory tree. And I don't always necessarily see that until I kind of float it in water and take it out. Let's go back to the animal again. Because when we look at it here, we're like, okay, which one was that? <laughs> that was kind of this pale, okay, get that yellow tube out of there, right? This stuff here is the respiratory tree, okay? respiratory tree. All right, so that means this other noodly stuff, okay, are gonads. 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 
wrapped around that respiratory tree. All right, the Pullian vesicle. Oh gosh, I had it, and I did I kill it? Did I squish it? Did I? What happened to it? Is this little? Oh no, that's intestine. I got excited. It's this little fluid bag, and I had it. So this looks like more respiratory tree. Oh, there it is. <laughs> You're like, where? Where, Mrs. Clark? Okay. See if I can grab it. Uh, oh, maybe I'm wrong. In a fluid filled, oh yeah, that's it. Wow, it's big, woo! Okay, it's not usually this big. Maybe it's filled with fluid for some other reason, but that is it. Okay, this little fluid filled bag, it's a dead end. Uh, that is the pulley and vesicle, and it's not usually this big. All right, tube feet are hard to see, but I can see them. Uh, these red structures right along here are the inside of the tube feet. So again, the tube feet are gonna poke out to the outside. So hard for me to point at on a dissection uh, because on a video like this, you really can't see where the tube feet come out. If I could put this under a dissecting microscope and really zoom in, I would be able to see where the holes are. Okay, but that's from the, the tube feet. And I can do longitudinal muscles, I can do intestine, I can do stomach, I can do gonad. Respiratory tree I can do, but how do I wanna do it? Maybe if I float it and point to it like, hey, name this structure here, right? Then you could do respiratory tree. And that's all we have to know for the uh, holothuroidea, the sea cucumber.